Welcome back to the lab, folks. Today we got a mail bag for you. Been building up for a little while, and I just thought I'd get to it because I need some of this stuff. Can't wait too much longer. Ah, yes. So this here, this here is a set of Kelvin leads that will fit into my Zoe LCR meter. Okay, let me show you that. At least I hope it'll fit. So this should go in here like this and slide it over to lock it in place. And there you go. And you can do four wire measurements. It's a more convenient way, I think, than using this arrangement here with the multiple banana plugs. So I will be officially replacing this set of leads with this set of leads. Alright, this is an IC checker. Sometimes you just want to test to see if an integrated circuit is good or bad. Now, I know that this particular item here, it has some limitations as to the number of chips it'll check, but it checks, I think, enough of them to be useful. Yeah, look forward to a video where I check this out one of my testing AliExpress videos. By the way, everything that I got here today, I got off AliExpress, of course. Okay, I think I know what these are. This is a new type of case that I was looking at. I'm not too sure how that front panel goes on. I thought the front panel was going to be plastic, but it's not, it appears to be metal. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so this is not going to be ideal. I will use these, but this is not going to be terribly ideal for me. Because I do like to um, I do like to have my panels made up as PC boards. So I'm going to go back to the older style. Let me show what that's like. Here's a small one of the older style. And I I got these off AliExpress too, but they have the nice little panels that go onto the front like this. Front and rear panels are can be made up as PC boards and then just screwed into place. And with these ones here, um, the front and back panels, like the back panel is a part of the base and the front panel is this uh, formed metal thing here. So it would be difficult, it would be difficult to uh, put in a PC board as a panel in this, unfortunately. If anybody's interested in them, I'll leave a link to everything that I'm looking at today down in the description. You can all go down there and uh, have a look at the more detailed listing of it on AliExpress. This here is a solar panel multimeter. So this tests out your solar panels to see if they actually meet their specifications. So again, this is something else I'm going to have to do uh, a test on. So it comes with uh, various leads here. You can plug in your solar panels into here and it'll test them. Now they're powered off the solar panel, so I can't power it up to show it to you. But uh, this is supposed to be good for up to, you know, a little ding on here, up to 1800 watts. That's going to come in handy. I do have several solar panels and this will give me the MPPT reading from them. This here goes on to my East Tester LCR meter and it is a fixture for checking surface mount parts. So quite clever how it works. You put the surface mount part down there and these two leads come in here and push in on it and uh, test it. So it's for testing surface mount capacitors, resistors and coils in my little collection of test fixtures. So I'll put that up here. This looks like it's something from Fernisi because this is the way they package their stuff and I did order something from Fernisi. Now I have had uh, the HS01 soldering iron 
This is the HSO2 soldering iron in a nice little kit. Now they do also gave me a little pigtail here, which I will check out. I don't know if you saw the videos on the uh, pigtail that came with the HSO1. One of the ones I got was reversed. So it ended up blowing up one of my HSO1s, but I was able to fix that, no problem. And uh, a little, what's this, 95 watt or 100 watt? 100 watt GAN gallium nitrate power adapter. Folds nice, that's very nice. And one of their gorgeous USB-C cables. These things are just, you gotta feel these things. Like, ooh, you're gonna have feel of vision in the future, you'll be able to feel them. Okay, now this is, a, it is apparently in a kit. And from what I saw um, in the listing, it's a pretty nice kit. Oh, there we go, there it is. So it comes with a kit of five different tips. There's the iron itself. Very nice. It's very similar, of course, to the HS01 in its uh, configuration. Oh, it comes with six tips. Well, that is that is really nice. And it comes with some solder, which comes out here. So you can put whatever solder you want onto this reel and uh, use that. It comes with a little copper cleaner here and a stand right here. So you can put your soldering iron right in the stand and use it from there. So a nice portable soldering station right here. We'll have to do a video on uh, reviewing this and comparing it to the HS01. Alright, we're getting into the smaller stuff here. I think from the label here, this is uh, another set of those really, really nice test leads. I've got like five sets of these now, and uh, there's more in this as well. There's, I think I ordered a, a bunch of three of them together as well. So if you haven't bought these test leads, go out and buy them. I mean, they are just so good. They're really, really sharp. They feel great. They've got a, a nice silicone rubber grip on them here. These leads are silicone rubber. They're, they've got a rating on them, and we've got, I'll test them to 1,000 volts, because that's all I can test to. It depends on whether or not there's a sale. By the way, I should mention it right now that AliExpress has its back to school sale on, and there's some terrific deals out there. So get in there and get them. I'm sure you can find these there where you would get uh, you know, like buy three things and, you know, get free shipping. And that, that's what I did with the other three that I got. I think I got them for like six Canadian dollars or seven Canadian dollars each. Of course, I'll put up the prices up here as I go through everything. And you'll see what I paid for each individual thing. I can't say it enough. If you need some test leads or you just want an extra pair of test leads or you're tired of those plasticky things that came with your fluke, buy a set of these. They're fantastic. So yeah, another set of these. I think this is another set as well. Yes, it is. That's my final set of test leads. A pair of SMA adapters. These are ones I don't currently have. So this is a, I guess that's a female to female. And this one is a male to male. What this is, now I normally use these, these very expensive little Aram cutters because they're, they're so nice, the profile of the jaws. But sometimes I hate to use these on anything tough. Uh, what I normally buy for doing tough things are these ones here. And uh, these are so cheap that, you, you know, they're throwaways. You use them in a couple of tough things and then they get a gap in the jaws or something like that and you just toss them out. But uh, I thought I would try these ones out here because they're not much more expensive yet they look like they have a much more substantial jaw. So that remains to be seen if they can be a good replacement for those other ones. If they last twice as long then they're good because they're they're not quite twice the price. So that would work out pretty well. And this here it's just a, a little stubby screwdriver with a rotating top. Now I've got two different kinds. It comes with a set of bits. So that's nice. Oh, a nice big uh, Phillips bit there too. And I think there they may be JIS bits as well in there. So, so this has just got like the rotating top on it. So you can hold it up against it. You can apply pressure and screw it. They're held in magnetically. And they are. 
Ah, okay, that's pretty nice. Now I have some longer bits too that I can use with them. These are Atmel Mega 328s. I got these, I got a set of these off of uh, DigiKey and I got a set off of uh, AliExpress. I'll have to run some tests on them, see if they do the thing that they're supposed to do. I have an idea they would. They, these weren't ultra cheap, but they were a bit less than the ones um, I got at DigiKey. This is a burr remover, deburring tool. I have one of these. Uh, I have two two different types. I have one like this, uh, which you just kind of run in and around inside the hole. But the, the one that I have is plastic. This one's got a nice knurled metal handle to it, and it came with all these bits here, because you do go through them. This might look comical, but this is just a little persuader. It's a little plastic-headed mallet for just, uh, you know, tapping things a little bit without destroying them. It's got a metal side too and a plastic side, so it's just a little give things a little tap rather than whacking them with a big hammer. And this here is an AC non-contact current meter. So yeah, we'll have to check this out to see how it works. So here's the sensor. And I, I have no idea how this works. I guess you supply some power to it through those terminals there. And then you put this around one of the leads going into the device. And it gives you, oh, it gives you voltage and current. So I guess you attach, okay, that makes more sense. And it'll fit into a nice little round hole. So it's easy to mount. We'll try that out someday. Little SMA adapter here. This one is a T. So it's a male to female. Two females, one male. If you look back a couple of mailbags ago, you'll see I, I got a couple of these boxes and I liked them a lot. And again, they went up on sale. Um, so I got two of them. But they're super nice little boxes. I don't know if, uh, if you remember seeing them, but uh, let me show you. They're made out of cast aluminum and they seal up really nice and tight. So they've got a, a, a little ridge that goes all the way around. They're very heavy made. So they're like, what's that, about two millimeters thick. And so they're considerable heat sink in themselves. So if you had something in here that had to dissipate some power, it, you could do that for sure with these. And it comes with a set of screws, so very nice, very nice indeed. It's another adapter. This time it's a Type N adapter. So it's a Type N T, so similar to that SMA one, but a big blue Type N. Yeah, so this is just a little drawing kit. I have a set of these, but they're plastic and they're, they're kind of scratched up and looking ugly. But these are made of aluminum. And I don't really use them for the measurement, I use them for the shape. So to get the angles and stuff like that. So it's just a nice little set. You want to get your line straight, you want to get them in the right position. And uh, this is a handy little kit to have for that. Just replaces the plastic ones that I have, which actually date back to my high school years. Okay, from the weight of this, I think that this may be that screwdriver, or the screwdriver I'm talking about. It's a less extensive set of bits than the other one. It doesn't have any of the, let's see, where's the other one? Here? Yeah, it's got some Torx. It's got three Torx bits in there. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, very same. Okay, now this is the, this is the handle. Oh, this one feels a little bit nicer than this one here. I guess we've done our shootout already. This one's a lot lighter. It's an, I think it's an aluminum body on it. Yeah, this one feels heavier and I can't tell if it's aluminum or not. It probably is, but it's, it, it is quite a bit heavier than this. And this knob is a little bit rougher than this one. This one moves a lot nicer. Wow, it's got like, it must have a ball bearing on it. It's still going. This one, not so much. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, this wins, but I'll be able to tell from use. Love all my life. Oh, okay, that's a good sentiment, I guess. All right, here's the last one. Yeah, I was going crazy that day and bought, <laughs> bought SMA adapters. This, this is actually a kit of standards. 
so uh, so we've got a male to male, we've got a female to female, which I already bought separately. And uh, you've got a short, you've got a load, 50 ohm load, and you've got an open. There. And uh, this is just like a spare for the little set that came with my tiny VNA or micro VNA or whatever it was. I'm leaving a link below for all this stuff. You can go check it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.